feel like I'm going to end up with a lot of really short vlogs coming up here in the future. None of my topics are really panning out into full-fledged feature-length moto vlogs. Which is okay. I mean, I, I don't tell anyone what to do with their moto vlogs, but, you know, my personal preference is to watch shorter videos, videos on the shorter side of the spectrum, videos that are, you know, right around in the, like, five minute area. That's digestible, that's easy, you can sit down and watch it when you have nothing to do for five minutes. Anything that's shorter than that is also fine, but I tend to like ones that are not too short because it's hard to build up a lot of substance into a video in such a short amount of time. And then if they start getting too much longer than five minutes, it just, you know, they start to lose my attention a little bit. And that's not the fault of the vlogger, that's just my fault as a, as a, as a uh, customer, as a viewer for, you know, having such a short attention span. And, so, I mean, some people make videos that are like a half hour or longer, and that's fine, you know, more power to them. I have sat and watched those videos and enjoyed them, but most of the time it's like, you know, if I sit down at my computer on my free time, maybe I only have five or ten minutes to spare, so I can't watch a half hour video. That's another reason I like the, the shorter ones a little bit more. So anyway, I don't mind making shorter videos. I think that that can be, you know, there's a place for those. There's a place for longer videos. I've accidentally made some pretty long ones recently. I think I recently published my first 12 minute vlog. The one about installing my USB charger on this bike that I'm currently using to power my drift camera action cam. I don't actually know where, I know this place is, that restaurant is cool and I'm on Sunset Boulevard, which is famous, so this video is cool. I am such a scatterbrain. It's so hard for me to make videos, especially these days. I feel like it's getting worse. I just get so, dis I get distracted so easily and I trip up over my own words, which is also a distraction. And then you know, it's just so hard for me to put together a topic. Well, putting the topic together is easy, but making a a reasonably lengthy, coherent video about that topic is, has not been easy for a long time. I wonder if my age-addled brain is just past the point where it's useful for vlogging. What does it say? Use public transit. Drive less, avoid the stress. Okay, or ride a motorcycle, avoid the stress. Well, I guess you you open up a, a whole other world of stress on a motorcycle. Oh, here's a topic. Not too long ago, I... What the fuck are you doing? They don't even look at me. Oh, there it is. That's Los Angeles. The city this vlog has been about for four years and has never actually had a video of it in, in the vlog. Beaudry. Oh, I want to turn here. Not Bellevue, but Beaudry. <laughs> so yeah, the topic I want to talk about while I go through uh, Los Angeles here is the erosion of freedoms that we have maybe previously, you know, taken for granted and then once the baby boomer generation started raising kids, all these freedoms started disappearing. I'm not talking about big, big issue, hot ticket, big ticket, whatever the phrase is. I'm not talking about the big issues like free speech and all this other stuff. I'm talking about like, in the name of safety, you have to wear a helmet when you're riding a bike. You must, by law, wear a helmet when riding a bike. Highway Patrol! Thank goodness I've been behaving myself. I guess it's apropos to have a, a police vehicle alongside me for this topic. Oh, oh, this is the city, by the way, if you're interested. Da, da, I don't know, does Los Angeles have a song or anything I could sing? Whatever, that's Los Angeles. 
it's grand i'll go into it i guess the reason that this topic is on the forefront of my mind right now is because uh the video that i recently posted of those longboarders on mulholland highway riding the snake uh, prompted some comments about the safety aspect and you know whether it should be legal or not and it came to light that indeed it is illegal to do that i didn't know that actually at the time that i took the video i suspected that it might be true but i didn't know so i you know i took the video i posted it and people commented oh man you know this is illegal but super cool and i was like why is it illegal and they're like oh because it's not safe you know these guys they, they might crash they might hurt themselves and i'm like what that who cares that's their problem. They're the ones who want to do this. They want to have fun. They're willing to take the risk. Let them do whatever they want. Why is it your place to tell them what they can do and can't do? And they're like, oh, well, but I, because, uh, because, I don't know, because maybe, uh, that, am I allowed to turn on the red here? Maybe I am. I don't think so, but maybe. <sighs> I guess I'll just go. If anyone has a problem with it, they can write me up and maybe they will if you're gonna ban skateboards then you should probably ban bicyclists which also can crash on a mountain road in front of someone and cause them to have a situation and then after that you have to ban motorcycles because motorcycles are dangerous to themselves and others if they ride on a mountain road and then after that you have to ban cars and buses and trucks and airplanes because all of these are vehicles that could crash causing danger you know causing damage to themselves and others, and frequently do. Here's a fun tunnel. me through this yellow which doesn't matter because there's a red right after it oh my gosh I need a super moto for this so-called pavement jesus 